Let's examine the differences between deploy and execute. It is important to understand deploying a process does not execute the process into an act of production. Once a process is deployed, you must execute it either by manual execution via manage process reporting or by applying it to a schedule via manage atom management or by an external event starting a listener process. Think of it this way. When deploying a process, it's like putting an airplane on the runway. It hasn't taken off yet, but it's cleared for takeoff and waiting for the OK to start. Process schedules allow for this permission to take off by applying automation of an integration. This class only covers manual execution of deployed processes. If you'd like to learn more about setting up a schedule for your deployed process, think about taking our Developer One or Administrator One classes, or check out the user guide. Let's execute our process. I'll now demonstrate exercise number 18, Execute the Process. I've clicked Manage and Process Reporting to get into our Process Reporting page. Here, we can execute a process by clicking on the green Execute Process button. A drop-down will occur, asking us to choose the atom we'd like to run the process on. I'm going to select the Test Atom Cloud. It will then list all processes that have been deployed to the Test Atom Cloud. We only have one, our account XML to CSV, so I will select it. And then I will click on the green Execute button. The process account XML to CSV is started. Once I execute my process, I can click on the green arrows, which is a refresh, to see the status of my process. As you can see, it is executed successfully. This concludes our video but please complete exercise 18, execute the process before moving on to the next video where we will track live executions and process reporting.